I work uh, in the area of child welfare. It's, uh, it's a very uh, rewarding area to work. I, I was lucky to get selected for, um, for the position of a country director for this British charity, Every Child, uh, that was a pioneer of um, child welfare reform in this country. And uh, um, I led this organization for about 11 years. Uh, now, as the chairman of the local organization that was, um, that was set up by my previous employer. I found myself in a, one of the biggest universities of the United States. And I realized that even though I studied at two other institutions of higher education in Georgia, it was nowhere close to, to what I had to do uh, in the U.S. It was a, a breaking point in my life. Uh, one of the most important things that has happened to me. <clears throat> Initially it was very challenging. You're, you're, you're finding yourself in an environment, uh, in a culture, in a setting that is new, very demanding, and uh, you're there on a, on a scholarship, so that adds uh, an added, uh, that, that adds responsibility, you know. It was a very practical education that took a lot of effort to, to learn, but then something that uh, never goes away from me and that helps me, helps me do my job while here, in, in, back in Georgia. Well, my alumni activities started with Muskie Association. We used to be a Muskie Association. It was uh, a union of alumni of one particular US government sponsored programs. Uh, people with, with master's degrees from the US universities, very motivated people, and plus it was the time when uh, very big changes were taking place in Georgia. It was people with the same values, with the same ideas. They wanted to do something, we wanted to do something for the, something good for our society. Also wish my last thought would be that I would definitely wish for every individual um, of my country, youngsters especially, to be given this opportunity to, to go and, and live in the U.S.